Hey, how's it going? I'm just shooting a quick video. I'm getting some jars and lids ready uh, for pressure cooking. This is for growing mushrooms. And I just wanted to share how I uh, make my lids and my filters. Some people choose to make filters for their uh, for their jars for the you know, to reduce airflow uh, and contamination. So this is how I like to do mine. Um, I usually will get just regular polyfill. You can get this at any craft store or I think I got this at Walmart even. Very accessible. Uh, you're gonna want your mason jars and your lids, and that's pretty much it. And also some type of tool to be uh, making a hole. So what I usually like to do is I'll grab uh, just one mason jar, put the lid on it, and from there I'll just grab my tool. And I'll, I like to make my holes in the center. These jars are gonna be used for uh, grain transfers, so I just like to have uh, my filter just in the middle right here. And after that, what I will be doing is so we'll be grabbing some polyfill. And I'm going to try to make a little ball. Just like this. Just one jar ready. Also, when you make the hole on this, you can flip it on the inside and you'll be, uh, get some edges. And use that same tool to kind of pat it down. So it doesn't get stuck on there. So back to the polyfill. Just gonna eh, can take a little bit less. I'm kind of work it so slide it in there. Grab it from the other side. You kind of want to pull it through on both ends. Make sure it's like nice and snug. And obviously we have an excess amount, so I'll just grab some scissors. I'll just cut some of the top. It's even in here. I will cut the bottom as well. The reason I cut it is just the least uh, amount of polyfill in your jar, the less risk you have for the grains to be touching it and then sharing uh, contamination or transferring any kind of contamination. So there you have it. So that's going to be your jar. Put your lid on it and fill those up with grains and we're going to get ready to pressure cook. Here's one of the jars I've done on uh, the 20th of April, and it's been through a couple shakes, and I'm gonna need to use this. And you can see, just really clean, really nice. And most of my jars are like this, and I, I do think it's because of the filter. And another nice thing about this filter is I do change them after every single use. So once I'm done with uh, this jar, and I get rid of, uh, I clean everything, I'm going to pull out the polyfill and repeat this process. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.